Okay, sorry about that. My tablet, like, gave me a message and sent me a bunch of weird things, so I'm going to try and combine the video clips. Um, I'm just going, I, I'm picking up where I left off, but it's, it was just kind of, I had to stop the video in order to fix what was going on, so this video might take longer to be out than I hoped, but... That's okay, I hope. I don't know. So once you reach the top of your loom, this is what it should look like. You're going to want to push down all the bands in the center and on the sides as well. So continue just pushing down all your bands and because you are going to loop some more bands. And yeah. So now you're going to want to just loop this single chain all the way up your loom. So go underneath the cap band, grab the top band, and go forward. And if your cap band kind of does that weird thing where it keeps one loop on and takes one loop off, just pull it back on. Go all the way to the bottom, grab the, sim the single band, and loop it forward. Okay. Once you've done that, go back to the beginning of your loom and we're just going to loop the border in a regular pattern. So go underneath the cap band and I'm hoping that this will work. Here, I'll just go underneath it like this so I can actually see. Grab the top band, loop it out to itself. Grab the bottom band, loop it out to itself. And again, just loop your bands out to themselves and loop all the way up Then once you get up to the top, you're going to grab the bands and bring them down into the very center. Do the same thing on the other side. So go under all those bands and grab the bottom one. And just continue looping it up. Again, once you loop it up, just grab those bands and bring them down into the center. And now we can take this off of our loom. So I'm going to take it off from the bottom. And this might be a little boring to watch, but I'll try to go quickly. I'm just going to take all of these bands off from the bottom. Because I don't like to take it off from the top. Actually, for this bracelet, it's not too tight. So I might... So I'm just going to go in this one center peg where all of the bands are attached and just grab one band, pull it through, and I'm hoping that what will happen is this pink band here will be able to, nope, <laughs> the pink band won't be able to pull it off just yet because it's pretty tight still so I do have to take it off from the bottom. I did leave my pink band up there though, because I'll just grab it when I reach the end of this. That was my blind. My hook got caught like in the bottom of it. 
and then move it over so that it won't keep hitting it. So as you can see, this is the front, the signature side of the bracelet, and this is just the back side. It looks a lot the same on both sides. I think it might actually be the exact same on both sides. But, you know, one side seems a little flatter. Like, this side seems really flat because you pull all the bands. This side seems a little more voluminous because it's where you looped all the bands. So, completely up to the wearer, how they decide to wear your, the bracelet. I'm almost at the top. I doubt, like, any of you are watching this right now, so I'm pretty much talking to myself. But, that's okay, because I do that all the time anyway. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, so, I'm gonna try and pull this pink band out, actually, ow, actually. And that one's really stretched out, so I'm gonna use a different one. Okay. Now I've got that, I'm going to, oops, not break my loom, thank you. I'm going to pull it off. So, this is what it looks like on both sides. So, it does look really a lot the same on both sides. And it's super flat and super cool. So, it is really awesome. I really like how it came out. So, thank you for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to follow Bridges Bracelets on Instagram. I almost said YouTube again. Make sure to follow her on Instagram because her account is really awesome. And I will try to get this video as soon as up as soon as I can, but I'll probably have a couple videos in between this video and the one that I just most recently filmed. So anyway, thank you and I hope to see you next time.